Right guys, your first step is to um, prime your eye with whatever base you're using. I've used UDP paper, but you can buy that. Right, and then I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow by MAC called Sketch. That's what it looks like. I'm going to take this on a 224 brush or any like, large fluffy brush that you have. Now what I'm going to do is make like blend your crease but do it at an angle to the beginning of your eye there. So from the corner to the beginning of your eye. Uh, the reason that you start off with sketches is because they're lighter colour than the colour that you're actually going to be sort of like cutting the crease with. And this will just give it like a nice fade, a nice blend, it won't make it look as hard. This bit doesn't need to be perfect, just where you colour it. So I'll keep doing that until it's blending in. Right, next I'm going to take um, a colour called Shadowy Lady from MAC, Mine's Chipped, as you can see. It's a matte colour and I'm going to take this which is a gosh, a gosh, it's like a pencil brush. Right, and this is basically just what you're going to place your colour in. So place your colour in your crease, but then veer off your crease and come to the corner of your eye there, like mm -hmm. that. So it's sort of like a slanted cut crease, if that makes sense. Right, so this is just what you put your colour down, like you're not going to do anything else with it, apart from putting your colour down. Take a brush like uh, 222 from MAC. I love this brush, I don't think it's used enough by people, if I'm being honest, I don't see it. I see um, a few people use it quite a lot, but not a lot of people, and I love this brush, I think it's amazing. I much prefer it, the 222 to the 217, if I'm being honest. I think it fits in the crease a lot better, um, it's just amazing, amazing, amazing brush. Right, so basically what we're doing is blending that shallow, shadowy lady out. So, once you've blended it, and this is how you get a good blend, take that smudge brush and the shadowy lady you get, and brief more colour down. Right and that's how you get a good fade if you just keep like blending, reapply, blend, reapply, blend, reapply. You get really, really, really good payoff. So, right, I'm just going to turn this towel down. This is the next colour I'm taking, and it's Nocturnal by MAC, and I'm taking my 217 brush, picking some of that colour up, and then just placing this right in the outer corner and then bringing it up towards the beginning of my eyebrow and this is just to create like a bit more depth of colour and a bit more um, dimension to the look. You don't need to be like really careful with this because to tell you the truth it's really, it, it works in really easy. Right and just blend that out. Then take Parfait more. Cafe more, and then just put that, blend that onto it, like that. Right. And then just blend all them together with a 222 brush. When I'm mentioning brushes and colours, if you don't have them, like substitutes it for anything that you use because. I'm not being funny, but if, if you do make up quite a bit, then you tend to have like different sizes for when you brushes, even if they're not MAC. So I'd say that's like a medium blending brush that's quite thin. Yeah. Right. Then you're going to take Antiquing Max Pigment in Kitsamash. I hate saying that because I never know if I say it right. You're going to file this on. So if you've got fixed plushies that if you've got just get water and fill them, Aussie, bottle up with water because I've run out of it, it's just saturate your brush. 
and then dip it into your pigment. So you pick some pigment up and get your lid and just tap it on your lid like that. And you'll get it on the one like this. And then we're applying this on the inner corner and then bring it over across that part of your mouth and that not turn out and then you'll notice that why it's filed most of it will sit on you in a corner right and then you can just push it out push it up so up towards your eyebrow and across and then pick some of the pigment up dry and then just go across your eyebrow like that. And then what I do is just pick some of the shadowy lady up and just and just make sure that that um, slanting cut crease is defined. Yeah. I'm going to go back in with 224 and just buff out the outer edge. You're going to... I kept everything out and I've just moved everything again. Um, you want a black eyeliner. I'm using a stargazer one. And you want to just do the top, like your top waterline. And you do this because it makes your lash your lashes look a lot fuller and thicker. And then you want to line at the bottom. Like that. And then underneath put the black. Right, and take that smudge of brush again and shadowy lady or a very very dark purple and just rub this on that bottom lash line bring it up and just darken that out of the up like that oh, I'll just drop one and you're going to take a bit of vanilla pigment as your hair out I think you could use whatever hair that you want. I think the colour works really well with it. And just blend that in. Okay. And the only thing left to do is your eyeliner. I'm using L'Oreal's carbon carbon gloss. Um, you'll have to excuse this because I normally use a um, gel liner. And I don't normally do it on camera either. And I'm looking in the mirror over there instead of my magnifying there. So just bear with me for two minutes. Like that. Flick it out. This one's gone a little bit wrong. But hey, like that. Now I'm going to finish my face and my mascara and I'll be back. Right guys, so this is the finished look. Um, I've just set my foundation because I didn't have any powder on before. Set my foundation with Max Prep and Fine, Mineralized Skin Finish, Contoured a bit, Blush by Barry M. That one is full. Um, I'll have a review up on a few products coming. I'm going to try and do haul videos and everything after this now. So I hope you guys like it and I will be doing a thing on why my hair is glowing. See you later guys. Love you, bye.